y'all welcome back to another video for today's video we're going to be recreating a drawing now i did not do this drawing my sister did it she wanted me to recreate a drawing something that she came up with but she didn't want to get in front of the camera so this is the drawing right here we're gonna see what we can do with it i'm gonna recreate it using timu products so if you didn't see my video from i think a week ago or two weeks ago i did a big timu unboxing and i used the items some of the items that timu sent me on a nail set and if you haven't seen that video you can go ahead and check it out by clicking the little thingy thing that's gonna be up here but um in today's video i'm gonna be using some of the items that i did not use in that video the other video in this video to try and bring this drawing to life so just about anything you can think of timu has it they have clothes they have jewelry they have home decor and all of it is for such a good price and to kick off the new year they're running a new year promotion on their site you can click the link in the description down below and find items up to 90 percent off they have a ton of nail products and nail accessories i love what they have for beginners so make sure you go click the link in the description down below to go check them out and thank you so much to me for sponsoring this video and let's go ahead and do our notification shout out so these are the first three people who commented on my last video thank you guys so much for having your post notifications turned on and if you would like a shout out just like these three people here all you have to do is make sure you are subscribed and you have your post notifications turned on that way you are one of the first three people to comment all right so let's go ahead and get started okay so let's bring this drawing back up so we can see it up close and personal so she told me the set is supposed to be a valentine's day set and the little drips that you see is supposed to be some chocolate which is kind of a good idea so we got nails dripping in chocolate with hearts all over the place and um i am not sure what those squiggly lines on the side are supposed to be but we're gonna figure it out um i have an idea what i want to do with that so let's go ahead and get started so i already put on my nail tips off camera so this time i got on tips and not cover tips y'all know i usually put on cover tips so these tips are from good old amazon and of course we're going to be doing this set with poly gel so she didn't give me any type of color combo or whatever so i'm going to come up with my own colors <laughs> so i am going to start with pink so for poly gel you're going to need of course your slip solution your poly gel brush and a dabbing dish to put your slip solution in so i have all of that already laid out and i'm gonna go ahead and get started with the pointer finger so on the pointer finger you know we have our chocolate dripping down there and then we have some hearts on there so i'm gonna obviously i'm making the base color pink because i'm laying this nice pretty little pink poly gel down first and then the hearts on the nail that you see here we're gonna do that i'm gonna do that using some stickers from tim U. so tim U has some gold stickers and um, i think it would be perfect to include in the set so um yeah we're gonna have pink gold and brown for the chocolate the chocolate drips so i think this is gonna work out all of these colors are very complimentary so yeah i'm feeling pretty confident usually i don't feel this confident in the beginning of the video especially when i'm doing something um that i don't know how it's going to turn out so um i am super excited already about this set but here you see i'm only laying the poly gel on the bottom half of the nail and it's just easier for me whenever i'm building the nail up um with poly gel to do it this way so whenever i feel like i'm satisfied with this bottom part then i'm going to go ahead and cure i cured it for um about a good 30 seconds as always with poly gel and then i'm going to come back and finish off the cuticle area now i'm going to keep the poly gel on the thinner side because um I want to encapsulate the stickers, the um, heart stickers that I'm going to put on here. You don't necessarily have to encapsulate the stickers. I think I just want to be a little difficult. <laughs> but my thought process was since we're doing like the chocolate drips on top and I'm going to do um, 3D chocolate drips. So um, I just wanted the stickers to be kind of out of the way. So yeah, we're gonna encapsulate them and go from there. But after I finish laying this last little bit of poly gel flat on my nail, I'm gonna go ahead and um, cure it for 30 seconds off camera. 
and then we're gonna go ahead and get our stickers out and put our stickers on. So these are the gold stickers I was talking about. We're gonna use the hearts that's on this sheet. And this is like one sheet of so many sticker sheets that came in a one little pack from Tim Yu. Um, I want to say that this pack was like around two, three dollars. I'm not sure, but it was like very, very affordable for so many sheets of stickers that you get in one pack. So love, love, love that. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and put these um, hearts on the nail. So I'm using tweezers to kind of pick the stickers off of the sheet and put it on my nail. Now, I don't know if you can tell from the video, but the stickers are very much sliding all around the nail because I forgot to wipe the nail down with alcohol to kind of get rid of that um, slimy, sticky surface of the poly gel. So I ended up having to put some base coat on top of the stickers to get them to um, not move around. So whenever I come back with my clear poly gel and put it on top to encapsulate it, the stickers won't move around like they will stay put. But as long as the surface of your nail is not slimy or whatever, then the stickers will stay. It's just I skipped over that one step because I got a little excited. <laughs> so now I have to secure the stickers down with some gel polish. So this is what I mean when I say I'm going to encapsulate the stickers. I'm just covering the stickers up with some clear poly gel. And of course, after um, I um, lay the poly gel on top real nice and I cure and shape everything up, you will still be able to see the stickers on the nail. But like I said before, you really do not have to encapsulate these stickers. Um, You can just put stickers on top after you've finished um, filing down the nail and everything and then put a nice little top coat on top and boom you got stickers on your nail I'm just being a little extra since I know I'm gonna do the um, 3d chocolate drips on top okay but here is the pointer finger and we're not done because like I said we still have to do our little 3d chocolate drips on on top but we got the hearts down pack so we can check that off of our list and this is how it looks from the side view. Looks really good. And now let's move on to the next nail. So for, what is this? The middle finger. So for the middle finger, I'm gonna do an ombre. Okay, so if we look back at the picture, you see she has like kind of the nail shaded in towards the top part and that's basically ombre that's what i'm gonna say it is and so i'm gonna lay the pink down first as you can see i'm doing right here and then i'm gonna go towards the top with some um nude poly gel a little bit later after i finish laying this part so along with the ombre on this nail we also have these little jagged rigid lines on the sides and honestly i do not know what she meant by that and i didn't ask her she ain't tell me so we gonna figure it out on our own we gonna put something there so i thought why not just go ahead and take some um some of the foils that we got from tim Yu and line it up on the sides of the nail um i think i'm just gonna do um just an outline of the foils around the nail she has some of the squiggly lines on top of the nail but i'm not we ain't gonna worry about that <laughs> we're just gonna focus on outlining the bottom of the nail and you'll see what i'm talking about a little bit later when i bring out this little foil this timu foil And honestly, with this poly gel, I couldn't ask for a better blend. This ombre is ombre. Like, look how good this looks. And I want to say this is like the best I've ever done an ombre with poly gel ever before. Like, my ombre has never looked this smooth with poly gel. So, I'm a little proud of this. I like her. 
So at least we can say the base design of this nail looks good. So now let's get this foil and hopefully it'll make this nail look even better. Okay, so I'm going to go with um, a gold foil. We want to match the gold that's in the gold stickers. Now, this foil actually came in a pack and they give you, I want to say, two different shades of gold. One silver and then you have a rose gold color um, foil. Of course, all from Timu. So on this nail, I did not rub the nail down in alcohol to remove that kind of um, sticky surface. And this time it was for a reason. I really wanted the foil to stick to the nail and not be all over the place because this foil is real easily kind of, it sticks to things really easily. And if it doesn't stick to the nail, it will stick to everything else but the nail. So um, I wanted to keep that sticky surface there. So um, the foil will be able to cling to the nail easily. And I'm basically just laying the foils um, on the edges of the nail, all around the edges of the nail. So I'm really just outlining the edges of the nail with foil. That's what I'm trying to do. And whenever I have it in a place where I feel like I like the position of the foil, I like where it's at, I just take my finger and press the foil into the nail. Now, you can still move the foil around if you need to. It's not set in stone quite yet. But once I have all of the foil on the nail where I want it to be at and it looks nice and good and whatever, um... I am just going to take some base coat and cover um, all of the foil in base coat so I can cure it and it stays in place and it doesn't move um, because I am going to encapsulate all of this. So um, before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and put some hearts down, some stickers down because in the picture she has some hearts drawn up and down this nail too so i'm going to take some hearts and put that coming down kind of cascading down the middle so like i said once we got everything in place where we want it I am going to go back in with some base coat and um, just cover um, all of the stickers and all of the foil so it does not move once we go in and encapsulate it. So after I um, do one coat, I'm just going to go ahead and cure it for a good little maybe 10 15 seconds and then I'm going to go in with some clear poly gel to encapsulate everything. Now everything that she had in the drawing is done is on that middle finger so that's how the middle finger is going to look we just gotta shape and file and buff and all the other good stuff but for now we're just going to cure it for 30 seconds and um i went on and did the other the pinky and the ring finger off camera because all i'm doing is laying poly gel and y'all already saw how i did that with the first two so i just did a pink base with those two and then we're gonna work on what we're gonna put on top right now so for the ring figure you can see she has some hearts and then we have a french nail design so i'm gonna take two of these hearts that has um, some words in it they remind me of the little um, heart candies that you get for Valentine's Day so that's why I wanted to incorporate those stickers in in here in this um, on this finger and um, then I'm gonna draw on the um, will paint on the actual French nail design instead of doing it with poly gel because I thought that was just was gonna take too much if i did it with poly gel the french design with poly gel but off camera i went on and encapsulated the two stickers and now i'm just gonna go ahead and start filing mm -hmm. 
So I did most of the filing off camera, but for the most part, I filed with my um, hand file. Y'all know we get down with the hand file. <laughs> then of course, I'm gonna clean up my cuticle area with my carbide bit. And now what I really wanna get into is really finishing up what we have to do for the rest of this nail design. Okay, so I already said ring finger, we got French. So I am gonna go in with this um, liner brush and we're gonna do white. A nice little classic white French ain't never hurt nobody so um, y'all know I like my French to be very deep and very low so that's what we're going for I'm just gonna go ahead and fill that in and I actually love the way this is looking especially with the colors and everything with the um, hearts in the background yeah I'm, I'm digging it I'm liking it guys this is starting to look exactly like the drawing and i'm not even gonna lie to you i'm starting i think i want to do this challenge again i think i want to open it up to you guys so y'all can draw my nail says for me too and i'll do it here on youtube what y'all think if you guys want to draw my next nail sets for me if enough people say yes let's do it in the comments then i will open it up to you guys and i will put a um what is it called a template up for you guys to draw on on instagram so let me know if y'all want to do that because um i'm i'm getting in the zone i'm liking this okay so as you can see we are almost done i did the chocolate drips for the pointer finger off camera but i'm gonna do the pinky finger on camera for you guys so let's get into it so i'm first i'm just gonna outline the drips first so i'm just gonna paint on the drips and this gel polish is by madam glam it's called coffee time and I am just gonna draw out the drips, how I want it to look. And then after I paint on the drips, I'm gonna cure it and then make it look more 3D afterwards with some poly gel. So the liner brush that I'm using is from Tim Yu, of course. It is a part of one of their, um, um, one of their little nail art kits that they sent me. And I actually customized the brush. I plucked it out a little bit so I can make the brush thinner so I can get thinner lines whenever I'm doing nail art. So if you wanna see how I did that, that is all in my other video where I did a Grinch nail set for Christmas. So yeah, make sure you go check that video out my other Tim Yu video, but um, here as you can see, I'm just doing the drips. I'm rounding out um, the drip at the bottom so it can look more like a drip and less like, you know, a random dot and a line connected to it. So all the stuff to do is to fill everything in. So to give more of like a drippy, dripping effect, I'm gonna do one little drop underneath that longer drip. And then after that, I'm gonna cure, and then we're gonna put the poly gel on top. So of course we want it to look like chocolate, so I'm gonna go in with some brown poly gel. And I'm basically just going to fill in um, where I have the drips outlined at basically. So I'm going in with some poly gel and just tracing what I already have laid down. I would recommend, if you're gonna do this, I would recommend doing this with a smaller brush than what I'm using, only because I just think it's easier. I just made it hard for myself. <laughs> um, but um, since the drips are so small, um, I would use a smaller brush just to be able to work with it a little easier. But um, I think this turned out to look so yummy and delicious. Like I just wanted to like eat it all up. Like, it looks like chocolate for real. <laughs> And 
and you know we cannot forget about our little drip at the bottom so um, I took a little bit of that poly gel to put some there I think I put a little bit too much so I had to take some off um, but we are almost done I have to put sprinkles on top so after I finish covering that little drip right there I am going to cure everything and then we're going to put some sprinkles on top of it just so it can really look like it maybe it look more like ice cream if i put sprinkles on top mm, i didn't even think about that but it's still chocolate at the end of the day chocolate ice cream i am going to be using the um gel paint from madam glam and i have the color pink and then i'm using my liner brush by tim Yu to make my little sprinkles and i just put a few not too much and there i just showed you on the screen some uh jar of caviar beads i have different colors in that little jar and i'm going to use the gold caviar beads to represent just another thing of sprinkles on there so we can have something 3d so i put down um i covered the whole entire nail with top coat and then I went back in and I'm going to place the caviar beads. I'm going to scatter them all over the place. Um, just on the brown part, the little drips. So it can look like sprinkles. And after that, we're all done. I'm going to go ahead and top everything, all of the other nails off. And we're finished. <music> All right, so this is the finished look and I'm in love. I think it looks exactly like the picture, but I'm gonna let y'all be the judge of that. So let me know what y'all rate this set. Does it look like the picture? Does it not? Y'all will be the judge. Um, I'ma give it a, a solid 10 out of 10 because I, I love it. I think this set looks good enough to eat. So um, yeah, that's it that's everything i want to give another shout out to tim you thank you so much for sponsoring this video and if you want to check any of the materials that i use from tim you out you can check it out in the description down below i will also leave the link to their site so you guys can check out anything on their site if you watch this far shout out to you because you a true one you're a real one thank you so much i love you guys and i will see y'all in my very next video for next week